Selecting the proper shoes. Stand firm, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14 through 15. Standing firm while in the conflict requires the right kind of spiritual footwear. Now here's a story I'm going to tell you about a football player. I'll never forget the game at the Rose Bowl. Being winter time, and it's late in the football season, the field was in bad shape for several days of rain and entire season of wear and tear on their shoes. However, the grounds crew painted the field green so it looked much better than it actually was. This player had two pairs of football shoes, one with long spikes for bad turf and one with short spikes for good turf. Thinking the field looked pretty good, he opted to wear the short spikes. Now on the opening kickoff, he caught the ball on the four yard line, took two steps and immediately landed on his backside. That's not unusual after a tackle, but in this case, there wasn't an opponent in sight. He slipped in the mud. Then he said, my shoes betrayed me. Since proper shoes are important in athletics, how much more so are they when fighting for your life? Roman soldiers took great care in selecting just the right shoe. Typically, they wore a thick soled semi boat with straps, securing it to the leg. On the bottom of the soles were hobnails that protruded like the cleats of a track or baseball shoe. The thick soles protected the feet from injury. The hobnails provided traction when maneuvering on the soil. The Christian spiritual footwear is the gospel of peace, found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 says, Having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus. God has reconciled you to himself through the death of his son, found in verse 10. Once you were his enemy, now you are his child. Once he opposed you, now he is on your side. No matter how difficult your circumstances may be, or how many opponents come against you, realize that the invincible God of the universe is on your side. He makes war against his enemies, found in Revelations chapter 2, verse 16, and against him no one can stand. So stand firm in that confidence. Focus on your great ally rather than your feeble enemies. Thank God for his peace, presence, and protection in your life. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.